and Jacob fled. The Bible says in Genesis 27 verse 41 that he fled. Two great men, two unprecedented legacies, and yet these two men and the paths they take are worlds apart. Abraham begins with a vision of what was possible, looking forward into the unknown. His grandson Jacob, however, begins with fleeing, running away, moving forward while looking over his shoulder, afraid of what he left behind. Abraham's journey is a constant process of moving ahead, with each step building a new reality, a new home. Jacob's journey is one of taking his baggage with him as he continues to play out the same mistakes and causing much damage to others along the way. Please uh, read Genesis 27 verse 41 and chapter 28 verse 9. We know that we shouldn't worry about tomorrow, but even worse is to worry and feel regret about the past, which can only cripple us for tomorrow. I wish things could be the way they were. I wish I were younger. I wish my husband treated me like he did when we first met. I wish I could fit into these jeans again. I wish, I wish, I wish. Although the Lord doesn't want us looking back at what once was, our enemy does. He wants us to feel discouraged and helpless over what we face today. He wants us to feel helpless in a situation that we cannot change. He wants us to fall into the pit of becoming a victim and drown in self-pity about how it was in the past. But God wants us to look ahead to the future, to pursue, to charge ahead and forge a new future. The future is where God is. He promises to give us hope in our futures. Let us claim those promises for ourselves for our spouses and for our marriages and even for our kids. Let us forget the past. It's long gone already and cannot be changed. Let's move ahead and press towards the new things that the Lord wants to do in our lives. And it reminds me of the metaphor of the windshield versus the rear view mirror. mirror. The windshield is much more, um, it's larger versus the rear view mirror. And the mirror in the rear view is meant for us to glance at it versus the windshield is meant for us to look and to focus and to see the promise of tomorrow to put our faith and our eyes on tomorrow. What can we learn? What can we plant? What can we create? What can we decide today that is going to affect us in a positive way regarding tomorrow? What we see in the rear view mirror that is the past and that is why the rear view mirror is so small versus the windshield mirror we are not meant to be looking at the past with regret because it creates in our heart a condition of ungratefulness and regret 
is something that can lead us even into temptation and into depression. As we grow older, we are going to see the fine lines, we are going to see wrinkles, we are going to see different aspects of our body that are changing. And if we hold on to our youth, and if we hold on to the picture of who we were, and what we were, and how we were, we will not be able to enjoy the journey of today in whatever age we find ourselves in today. It is all about being intentional. It is all about living in the here and now. It is all about accepting the things that we cannot change. And that prayer, the serenity prayer, has helped millions of alcoholics get sober one day at a time, accepting their reality one day at a time. And furthermore, we have God in our lives and he is the assistance and he is the grace and he is the mercy and he is the kindness for those areas that we are weak in, that we have a problem with. As long as we surrender these things, these thoughts, the regrets of the past, he will be able to make up the difference. But if we hang on to the past really tightly and we press our hands together or we clam up our hands holding on to the past, we don't allow the Lord to work in us and through us so that we are able to live today gracefully, victoriously. And every day is a new day for us to be able to accept our present reality and live from a place of joy, live from a place of total satisfaction, remembering what God has done, thanking him for how he's brought you this far, how he's brought you through, and that each wrinkle and each line, it's a badge of honor. It is a badge that you are still alive, that you are sane, that you have a sound mind, and that your heart is pure before the Lord, and that you continue to become better each and every day. Let us pray. Father God, thank you so much for helping us lay aside those past regrets, my Father, that keep returning and want to torment us and keep us in a place of sadness, keep us in a place of if, if we only, or if I should have, or I should have this, or if I only did that, or I should have done this, or I wish I could, or I wish I am, or whatever, Lord God. It's living in the past when there is so much more to live in the present and be expectant for a great future. My Father, help us to understand that the things that have already faded away, they're called the past and they are not going to return. And it is futile that we stay there when we cannot change time and space. Father, help us to find contentment 
in the present and find hope for the future. Guide us, my Father, into the future according to your perfect will. Help us to see your hand of grace over our lives. Give us a new vision. Give us new eyes. Give us new ears. Give us a new heart, Lord God, so that we can dance, my Father. My God, dance every single day like no one is looking and sing, my Father, as if you are the only one listening, my God. Lord God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for you are truly our hope. And just the thought of having you in the future and in the now, it is a reason, it is a motive for satisfaction and for joy and for kindness and for gentleness and for finding ways, my Father, to live a richer life, putting aside and laying aside those things that want to weigh us down. Lord God in heaven, thank you for each one of my subscribers. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for their health. Thank you for their finances. Thank you for the peace that surpasses all understanding over their lives, my Father. We thank you for the people that we have met we thank you for the people that we are meeting today, and we thank you for the people that we are going to meet tomorrow, Lord. Help us to do things differently. Help us, my Father, to love more and to have less regrets. My Father, thank you for blessing my friend listening to this audio. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord of Lords and our King of Kings, the Great I Am, we give you praise, honor, and glory. Jesus, in your name we pray. Amen. If you like this message, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, also like and share. If you know of anyone that needs to hear a message like this, maybe they're depressed, maybe they're anxious or fearful, maybe they're struggling with a situation in their lives, send them a gift today, the gift of hope, the gift of encouragement. Thank you for listening to my messages. Have a blessed day.